Hi to everyone, this is Kokila Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am going to discuss about Computer Networks Unit 4. The first one is Network Layer Design Issues. Store and Forward Packet Switching. The major components of the system are the carrier's equipment, routers connected by transmission lines shown inside the shaded oval and the customer's equipment shown outside the oval. Host H1 is directly connected to one of the carrier's routers A by a leased line. In contrast, H2 is on a LAN with a router F owned and operated by the customer. This router has a leased line to the carrier's equipment. We have shown F as being outside the oval because it does not belong to the carrier, but in terms of construction, software and protocols, it is probably no different from the carrier's routers. This equipment is used as follows. A host with a packet to send transmit it to the nearest router either on its own LAN or over a point to point link to the carrier. The packet is stored there until it has fully arrived so that checks, checksum can be verified. Then it is forwarded to the next router along the path until it reaches destination host where it is delivered. This mechanism is stored and forward packet switching. Services provide to the transport layer. The network layer provides services to the transport layer at the network layer transport layer interface. An important question is what kind of services the network layer provides to the transport layer. The network layer services have been designed within the following goals in mind. The services should be independent of the router technology. The transport layer should be shielded from the number, type and topology of the routers present. The network addresses MAD available to the transport layer should use a uniform numbering plan even across LANs and bands. Implementation of connectionless service. If connectionless service is offered... Uh, connectionless services offered, packets are injected into the subnet individually and routed independently of each other. No advanced setup is needed. In this context, the packets are frequently called datagrams in analog with telegrams and the subnet is called a datagram subnet. If connection oriented service is used a path from the computer networks, be <coughs> source router to the destination router must be established before any data packets can be sent. This connection is called a VC virtual circuit in analog with the physical circuit set by the telephone system and the subnet is called a virtual circuit subnet. In this section we will examine uh, datagram subnet in the next one. We will examine virtual circuit subnets. Implementation of connectionless orient, connection oriented service. Host H1 has been served connection 1 with host H2. It is remembered as the first entry in each of the routing tables. The first line of A's table says that if a packet bearing connection identifier 1 comes in from H1, it is to be sent to router C and given connection identifier 1. Similarly, the first entry at C routes the packet to E also with connection identifier 1. Now, let us consider what happens if H3 also wants to establish a connection to H2. It chooses connection identifier 1 because it is initiating the connection and this is its only connection and tells the subnet to establish the virtual circuit. Thank you.